The 2008 hit blockbuster movie Hancock was a huge success among audiences. And for the past 14 years, we have all been wondering why a sequel was never made. Well, after years of waiting, the sequel is slowly coming together. And we are here to tell you all about it. When Hancock first premiered, it had a huge potential for a sequel. It was an original story that could have easily grown into a franchise. However, many factors worked against it. The biggest reason that the sequel was put on hold was due to the many conflicting ideas the team had. There were too many ideas on how to continue the movie that it became hard to continue. Will Smith, who portrayed John Hancock, had some exciting ideas. But with all the back and forth, he ultimately decided to step away for a moment. But this doesn't mean that a sequel won't be made. In 2009, there were serious talks about making the movie happen. But after a while, most of the writers and producers became involved in other projects, putting Hancock 2 on pause indefinitely. This project has been in development for almost two decades, and the reason why is due to the multiple scheduling conflicts with all of the stars. At the time, Will Smith and Charlize Theron were some of the biggest names in the industry, and everyone wanted to work with them. So, due to their busy schedules, making Hancock 2 became impossible. Currently, a lot is happening with Theron and Smith. Both of them are focusing on other huge projects that will likely push the release of this sequel for a while. However, we are all staying hopeful here, since many of the original team of the movie have said that they would love to come back and work on the sequel. So far, not much is known about the release date and the current status of the movie. However, Hancock 2 would be a nice addition to the current superhero franchises. Even though it wasn't perceived well by critics, audiences loved the movie, and many can't wait to see a sequel. The story still needs to be told, and after the first movie, many other things are still left to be explored. We are still keeping our fingers crossed that the movie will be released sooner than later. There are a few promising signs that this movie is slowly becoming a priority. Columbia Pictures is currently set to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. <laughs> No, they're currently set to produce it, the same company that produced the first film. They have been on board for the sequel since the first movie was released, and they haven't said anything to fully confirm that the movie is happening. But various sources have said that the movie is secretly being developed. We still don't know for how long they've been planning it, but given that in 2009 everyone was on board and ready to film it, we can surely say that the entire team of this movie is set to finally film it and release it for everyone to see. Peter Berg, the director of the first movie, is set to return and direct the sequel as well. Since Hancock, Berg has been developing other action projects, including Lone Survivor and Mile 22. There is no doubt that Berg will be capable of bringing the best version of Hancock to the big screen. His directing skills have only improved since 2008, and as of today, he is eager to get back to the movie and give us the sequel we've all been waiting for. We are not going to lie, the movie has yet to be greenlit. If anything is happening now, then any word about it is being kept on the down low, since there hasn't been a lot of chatter, and we hope that it's the case. Like many superhero movies, Hancock was mostly an origin story, so after the movie was released, many wanted to see what Hancock will get into in the future. For a time, it seemed that Hancock 2 was happening, but that quickly changed, and now we're still waiting for the movie. In 2009, there was a script made for the movie, even though it didn't happen. If they decide to make the sequel right now, they already have a script that would make things easier when it comes to the overall development of the movie. Surely, throughout the years, the writers have had many other ideas on which direction to take the movie. So for now, all there's left to do is wait and see if any new information about the movie gets released. If the sequel is to be made, it makes you wonder if any of the original cast members would return. Given that the first movie was focused around Hancock, played by Will Smith, it would only be fair that he returns as the main character. Another character that played a huge part of the movie was Mary, played by Charlize Theron. Over the years, Theron has been a part of multiple action movies. However, despite her excitement, the entire production of the movie has been paused several different times throughout the years. Her commitment to the movie only goes to show that when the sequel happens, we will surely see her come back as Mary. 
Will Smith has also expressed his desire to come back. However, due to his recent behavior at the Oscars, multiple future projects involving the actor have been canceled, and he has even been banned from the Oscars for a few years. All of this can result in yet another delay of the sequel. One of the few things that are certain about Hancock 2 is that Adam Fierro and Glenn Mazzara are set to write this script together, alongside Peter Burge in the director's chair. Adam Fierro has been known for taking a part in shows such as Dexter and The Walking Dead, while Mazzara has written Damien and Crash. These two writers put together would result in a worthy sequel. With Fierro's ability to write gory comedy and Mazzara's darker tone, they will for sure make a script that will be far more exciting than the first movie. They are capable of doing great things together. But for now, they have to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. <laughs> Uh, but no, in all seriousness, they have to put their plans on pause and wait to see when the sequel will get greenlit so they can finally jump into the writer's seats and deliver all the incredible ideas they've had for this movie for 14 years. Despite all the hate the movie got, it was still the fourth highest grossing movie of 2008. The first film focused on Hancock, who is a self-absorbed individual with superpowers who arrogantly disdains others and plunges himself into substance abuse. However, he still had the potential to do good, and a PR named Ray, portrayed by Jason Bateman, convinced him that together they could turn Hancock's life around. Throughout the movie, Hancock's past comes to haunt him when he discovers that his ex-wife Mary is also a super-powerful being. By the end of the movie, there were still some questions left unanswered. One of the main aspects that could be further explained would be his immortality. Although the first movie was an origin film, the sequel can follow Hancock and Mary as they go against all the new villains out to get them. The first movie also established that there are other beings like Hancock out there, and they always come in pairs. The more the pairs stick together, the more human they get. Since Hancock and Mary stayed away from each other, they retained powers. But what if there was someone out there who has gone through the same thing? Many want to see a supervillain enter the sequel with the same powers as Hancock. This type of superhero will go to show that many people like Hancock exist and that he isn't alone. This could open many doors to potentially making this into a franchise. The movie also revealed that Hancock is just a mythological godlike entity, similar to the ones that are mentioned in legends and folktales. Many still are wondering how he got here and how come he and Mary are the only ones left. This mystery needs to be solved in the future, and with it, it will bring a series of answers we have been waiting for for almost two decades. Check out this video next!